Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I welcome you to our first web programming tutorial of creating a complete hotel management system uh, that will have both administrators, a panel and the customer's uh, side or the customer's website. Um, you're going to use a uh, plain PHP and then Bootstrap and my SQL. So if you're just a beginner and you want to turn your basic programming language into a real thing, then this is the right tutorial uh, for you because we're going to use totally plain PHP. Uh, so without wasting much time, uh, we shall always do 40 minutes. So let me start our timer and then we start uh, the real action. So I'm going to take you step by step and what we're going to do today uh, or in this uh, series of videos, it will be something like this, whereby we shall have a landing page where a customer or someone searching for a, for a hotel room will land on the site and then these people will be able to browse uh, different rooms that we have in our uh, hotels and then the people will be able to proceed maybe and read about our services and then people will be able to uh, go ahead or customers will be able to go ahead and read about details about the room and they'll be able to access the booking button. So when they book a hotel, we are going to do, so this is the front side or what the people, what the customers will be seeing. Uh, that is what we shall going to do right now. We're going to give this template life to make sure that we uh, every button that everyone will be clicking here it is working. So what we'll be doing now, I mean, once a customer places an order, we're going to have another side of the system, which is going to be the dashboard. So the customer will be able to sign up. And then after signing up, uh, we will be able to access uh, their bookings and uh, administrators will be able to access the hotels. I mean, the, we'll be able to access the panel and uh, receive the bookings and place also the new rooms that are available and just will be maintaining the public website using this kind of uh, a dashboard so right now this dashboard is still is still a template just a plain html template so what you're going to do you're going to give it life to see that uh, everything that you will be clicking on here uh, is working so a hotel owner will be using this to manage the hotel and then the customers will be using this side to place orders and do the rest. So by the end of this video, we'll have enough knowledge that will help you to turn a, such a template into a real project like a hotel management system. And if you're able to turn this kind of uh, something into a, a real system, it means that that will be enough knowledge for you to do what? It will be enough knowledge. Uh, for you to do or to face any kind of uh, management system. And since we're going to use plain PHP, it means that we're going to do everything from ground or from basics, and you're not going to skip steps so that you can understand the basics of uh, PHP. And then that once you are, we were like, when you finish this project, then you'll be able to uh, proceed with advanced web programming, such as learning frameworks like Laravel or um, uh, Codeginator. So without wasting much time, let's go straight uh, to our today's business and start our project. And then I'll share with you uh, this template. So you'll download the template. I'm going to put the link in the description. You'll download that template. Then after downloading the template, you'll be able to do what? Uh, you'll be able to get started with what I'm going to do right now. So let's go ahead and start our today's business. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to create a new project. So I'll go to my uh computer here and then i go to my ht docs so at this level i'll assume that already know what's meant by ht docs uh so let me go ahead and access my ht docs folder so on windows i can get my ht docs here so at this level i, I assume that already know what is meant by ht docs ht docs is a place where i keep our hp php projects if you don't know what's made by ht docs then go ahead and watch my tutorials for be for php or web for beginners where we'll introduce you to everything so i'm going to create here a new project uh, i don't know how i should call it 
Uh, let me just come here and search on chat GPT if I can get a name for my project and that I'll use. Okay. Uh, let me just get your name ideas. Uh, ideas for a hotel management system. I can just say name ideas for name idea idea uh, ideas for names of a hotel management system so let's see if we can get here some cheat name uh, i see hotel harmony insight logic pro guest genius uh stay stream room roster sweet success welcome ease I don't know, check-in master, uh, stay secure, sweet spot, lodge logic. I think we should take this one, lodge logic. Uh, stay manager, room, re room relay, hotel hero. I don't know which one I should take, all of them. They sound nice. I think I should take this one, lodge logic yeah so uh, i don't know stay secure hotel hero stay manager resort reserve uh, sweet spot <laughs> uh see if we can add more add more names include word hotel let's see uh, hotel is hotel pro hotel master hotel hub hotel hero hotel secure hotel connect hotel is hotel stay hmm any pro um, just the names are so nice all of them Okay, let's just take this one. Logic, logic. I don't know that it's nice. Uh, let's take this. Just hotel is uh, nope. Uh, hotel logic. Hotel hero. Okay, let's take just this one. Hotel Hero. So let's take the Hotel Hero. Um, no. Uh, let me see Hotel Pro. All right. Let's take Hotel Pro. Okay, let's take Hotel Pro. Uh, so I'll come to my project. I mean, I come to my folder here, and then I come to my htdocs, and then come and create uh, a new folder. Just come here, create a new folder. I'm going to call it Hotel Pro. Okay. So Hotel Pro is going to be my, the name of the project. Okay. All right. So after creating this project, the next thing that you're going to do is to publish it on GitHub. So if you want to publish this project on GitHub, I've already created, I've already created the what i've already created the tutorials for github uh basics so if you want to learn about github you can watch my tutorials then my youtube channel just go ahead and search github so you'll understand what is the github and what are the advantages of github so let me go ahead and uh, create so uh let me launch my github what my github uh, software here and then i'll go ahead and drag and drop this uh, hotel uh, folder so after doing so i'll say create a new repository and then to create it for me and then say i say create repository so they'll create for me a repository of, of of github i mean of github so i can go ahead and publish this repository so it's going to be hotel pro and that's the repository so if i want to share with you the code i can say it should be public and then be able to access the code but if i share with you the code all right, let me just share with you the code for this time so you should be able to download and enjoy. 
all right that is the project so i'm going to go ahead and say publish repository okay so uh, it will process it has published it so if we go ahead and search it on internet so if you will go on github you'll be able to see my project here it is called um under stroke github stroke mobile stroke hotel pro all right so uh that hotel pro it does not have a what does not have any branch inside uh so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to start putting there the logic so what we're going to do right now we're going to begin with the uh, logic i don't know whether i should begin with the landing page and then we come to the to the what to the to the logins uh, i don't know what, what you should begin with even <laughs> okay let's see let us see let us see um i think we are going to begin with the admin side and then after the admin side we shall go ahead and proceed with what with the with the with the front with the front end so we're going to begin with the back end okay with this side of logging in and some adding hotels and then after we shall come back and finish with the front end all right let's do that so i'm going to go ahead and uh, just come here and open our, our our template so this template i'm going to give you a link where you'll access these templates okay i'm going to give you a link where you'll access these templates so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to begin with our uh, let me first just put here there a, a plain index file let's begin with that so i'm just going to come here in our project Wait, have I opened the project in, the repos in GitHub? I mean, in Visual Studio Code, I think not yet. So I can just simply come here to my GitHub and say open in Visual Studio Code. So that is our project there. So let me begin by just putting there an index file. So I just simply say index.php. So in this index, it's just going to be here, simple HTML. Just say HTML and then say uh, Hotel Pro. Tell, tell pro all right so and then i go ahead and put here just um, a link okay so let me go ahead and put the login link so i'm going to train you and show you how you can also use copilot so copilot is a uh, uh, what is a uh, github uh, extension that is in visual studio code you can find it here the one that you can use it you can just call it it is here called Co github compilot okay so you can use this github compilot uh, to get suggestions so that you minimize the typing and also it helps you to write the code that you may not need again to write again and again so to use this compilot you just simply write the link. You just simply write what you want. For example, here on my log, uh, my on my landing page, I've just said I uh, want a login link. You can see here it has written for me, "Welcome to Hotel Pro, what and what." Something that you see that is Copilot. So your task is just to place the tab key and then to write for you what you want. Okay, what you think that what it thinks you want. So you can go ahead and install that command line on copilot and then go ahead and pay for one month and you'll never regret so as i told you i'll be teaching you different techniques so go ahead and install copilot pay for it uh, it's just ten dollars but you'll never regret for having invested ten dollars so and i'm going to show you how you'll be using it so you can see here it has suggested for me what i want so if i wanted it to just have a login page something like that you see it is the one that is bringing me all these things okay so uh, my task is just pray the tab code and finishes writing it for me so whoever what i've just done here is just to create a landing page that is going to have just welcome to my hotel something like that this is just an index.php so let me go ahead and go to log uh to get to localhost stroke hotel hotel dash pro then you'll see i'm able to get here so i have here the login which will take me to the login.php and then we have here 
uh, to register, which will take me to the registration site. Uh, so I'm going to put here uh, the login. Okay, so I'm going to put here when I want to, I, I'm going to do the logic that in a way that if someone clicks here, we take them what to the login uh, page. Okay, so let's go ahead and click there. So we see we have uh, uh, the login. The login register.php is not there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I will share with you a place where the link where you're going to download uh, this template of hotel, of I mean of uh, admin. Uh, but before I share the link, let me first show you how it is organized. So I'll come here. I've already copied it to my homepage here. So I'll come here to my templates. And where did I put it? It's in HTRAC, I think. I think in HTML template. Let's see here. Okay, so uh, it is in the folder of administrator. Demos not. Demos. So this is the. All right. So I'm just going to open this template in my what? in my vision and another instance of visual studio code and i'll share with you the link to this template so let me go ahead and open visual studio code then i'll drag and drop this template there so that is the template that i'm going to share with you i'm going to share with you this template so this template it has two things one it has the html and uh, this is where i have like everything about html and then it has also what it has also the assets. So in these assets, it is where we are, we are having like um, everything that we need about uh, CSS and the rest, the images, all, all of these ones are there. So what I'm interested in right now, I'm interested in uh, the assets. Okay, so let's first get the assets. So I'll go ahead and copy these assets. So I can just simply come here to assets here press ctrl c so i'm copying this folder of assets then i come to a project so i come to a project so there is a project our project is here in ht docs in hotel pro hotel pro hotel pro hotel pro where is it hotel pro it is here so I'm going to go ahead and put there my assets. I don't know whether we shall not need to add the word admin because they can confuse with uh, the asset that we shall use uh, for the front end. However, these assets, there are some uh, many things, some you may need to delete them. Let me first see how heavy it is. If it is not so heavy, we shall leave it the way it is. Let me get, let me see how heavy it is. Just there are 29 MB. So these 29 MB, some of it is from uh, the images. Let me see how images heavy they are. Let me see how heavy images are. Just 3 MBs. All right, we can leave it with 29 MBs. 29 MBs is not too much. Okay, so that is our Hotel Pro. Now, uh, and those are assets, okay? Those are our assets. All right, so uh, right now, what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the login, the, the login.php. Okay, I'm going to create login.php. So I'm going to just simply come here and put new file so I can just simply come to our Visual Studio Code. So in Visual Studio Code, you can see we have new file of index. So if you're already logged in here in your GitHub account, you can log in here with your GitHub account. Uh, you can just simply commit these changes if you want to and then push. So if you have in Copilot, you can press here. It can just simply give you the suggestion of comment. So I can say maybe added assets like this and then I commit and then I go ahead and push. So all these changes are going to be pushed online. 
so as it is pushing online i'm going to create create here so you see we have our assets here i'm going to create here a what a login a login file okay so i'll come here and say new and say login.php so in this login.php is so i'm going to put the logic of logging in so right now if you come to our project okay you'll find that it now has login.php so if i click here login.php you see the login.php is there but uh, it is empty so i can put here login something like that so you see it is there but it's empty so right now this site did not come the template did not come with the login page so i'm just going to steal this one okay so i can just simply say ctrl s and then i'll have this template so i can just simply say uh let me see uh, which one is most optimal i don't know whether ctrl s so i can just say view source eh? view 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 page source ctrl a ctrl c then let me come here and paste it here don't worry i'll include it there so that is it okay so yeah so let's see how we make this login page work so right now if i click there nothing is relevant there so until we make we link it properly to our index so let me first remove these uh, useless comments so that is the login page uh so what is uh let me first remove this uh icon all right so let's see do we have base url there no uh so let's define base url i don't know how to define it but we can define it let me try to ask copilot to define it for me so to ask copilot just simply put a comment okay just use the control and tab here like this i mean Control shift and forward slash to make a comment or you can just simply write it by yourself so make i say make uh make base uh url let me see if copilot will do it for me uh, see if copilot will do it for me it will not it did not but i can come and search that here and i see to be make yeah this is what i was looking for okay so our base url in this case it is going to be the parent of your project okay so this is the parent of my project you can also go ahead and put a relevant one and remove this this means that if someone clicks on the link which does not have this should open the new tab so let me save let's cry and refresh so you not link up all right so let's see uh so it has to come to assets assets stroke vendors but you see here it is going like outside it so i'm going to select uh everywhere where there is asset okay i'm just going to select everywhere where there is these two dots these uh, okay so i just copy them and then say ctrl f and then i paste them there so i press alt and hold it then i press enter so if you press alt and hold it you'll be able to do what to mult delete so let's go ahead and save okay let's go ahead and save and refresh okay do you not okay supposed to enter in assets and then do the needful let's refresh again 
All right, yeah, it has worked. You see that? It has worked. So we had just to remove that base, those, these two dashes, okay? So it has worked. It has worked. That is nice. Okay, that is nice. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and put here. So here you have uh, a what? A login screen. Uh, so here you can put just some image, a cover photo, like a hotel photo, something like that. We can even just look from, uh, let me just get here, some image. Nothing attractive one here. Nothing the one that I want. Okay. My point is I wanted to put here uh, at least uh, an attractive photo uh, for like this one. Okay, maybe you can concentrate on that later. You can do that later. Uh, so here we shall put our logo. We shall do that when you are mastering. And then you are having welcome. And then here we are going to have please sign in. So you are going to put here for someone's username and password so that's what we're going to do right now so let's go ahead and remove this by now logic so let's go ahead and remove this by now logic by now it is here so you can search it and remove it it's just a template link okay so I'll remove it come and refresh everything is okay okay so sign in button it is there uh, so it's not looking nice for me sign in so i can just simply come here and put in uh btn primary and you see what we shall have CSS must have not loaded so that is our simple login page okay it is looking nice but I see here a lot of uh, index.min.css is not loaded a lot of CSS are not loading I think that's why login light that PNG it's not loading okay let's see how we can reach that so press ctrl P login dash light uh, login okay let's see what else can we get here that we think we can get so if i come here to console i see there's index.min.css let's see where it is located here control p index.min.css it's there but it's temporary okay let's first concentrate on the logic of logging in so that is our login page so these words we shall come here when you're mastering the app and you change the words we put here the nice uh, picture and the rest okay so and uh, now let's work on the logic on the logging in let's say that the person needs to log in so after you've landed here on the system you click here you should be able to uh log in but you know before you log in you must be able to register okay to register so let's make this uh, create account to link to uh, register.php or to register.php okay so let's do that so i'll just simply come here and copy this link and then come here to where there is this link and then i turn it to register.php 
PHP. Okay, so business has started. Okay, so if I come and refresh, we're having uh, that. So if I come here and I click, it is registered.php, but you have not created registered.php. So registered.php is going to look much more like uh, the login screen. I like can remove these scripts yeah, just for Google. So let's go ahead and just duplicate this file. So I just simply control C, control V, and then this copy, I rename it to register.php. Register.php. There you go. So if I come here and refresh, I have here register.php. Okay, so after doing that, uh, so what I'm going to do right now is now to do the logic of uh, signing up and then we register someone on on, uh, on the system. So I'm going to put this logic on top of this page. So I'm going just simply put here on top of this page, very top there, on top here. I'm going to put here, open PHP, and then I close here. So I'm going to check if there is if if there is post okay I'm going to check if there is post method so I can check check if is post method okay so if you write the comment like this copilot can possibly help you to check if uh, the method is post uh, so copilot is taking time no problem so let's go ahead and turn this uh, form. So I'll come here where there is email. So I'm going to change this email. I mean, so I'm going to wrap this form and then give it action. So action is going to submit to itself to index.php. So I'm going to make this form to submit to itself, index.php. And then I change the method from get to what? Post. Okay, so you know what's meant by the post method. You know what's meant by the get method. Okay, so it's going to submit to self. So I can just simply put stroke here. Okay, so that's where the action is going to be. So if I refresh now, I try to submit. Uh, let's see, it's supposed to submit to index.php. Refresh right now, submit. So you see, it's register.php. So here I'm going to um, change the word from sign in to register. So we have started. Eh? We can see so register so if i come here and refresh uh you'll see i have a register so i'm going to check if the method is post uh how can i check that let me try to first uh dump here uh so php i mean sorry i'm going to just say print r and then i put here i dump the server just um, then die So I just want to dump what comes in the server and I see if we can see if the method is post something like that. So let me search here for that post. Yeah, so you see, this is where you can check the request method. Okay, so you can just simply say, so this is how you check the request method. So you come to the server and just simply say, if method is equal to post, then I can know and say die say uh time to register to register someone okay so i can go ahead and refresh so you see when i post it's a time to register someone when i just place here for the first time i just got the link and i click so that is not post method it is get method so you see it's just taking me direct to the link Okay, when I refresh, everything is okay. But when I click on register, it is checking it that it is what? It is post. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, and <laughs> I don't even know where we should begin from. Let's go ahead and do the thing step by step. Okay. So uh, the last time we did remain with. I ran in six minutes. Okay. Let's do this in six minutes. All right, so in pH, I mean in uh, programming, it is good not to repeat yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write uh, some logic, okay, that will help us not repeat yourself. For example, as we're going to proceed, we're going to learn that 
uh, we are going to write these this these fields since we are collecting data most of these fields are going to be repetitive okay these form fields okay so i'm wondering what if we write a method that can just we can just give some few parameters then it does for us this uh form field i think that can be uh awesome okay so uh what we're going to do we're going to create a functions a functions file so in that functions file, we shall make sure that it is always on top of every document. And then we shall put some important functions that we'll be calling in different areas. So that we should not repeat ourselves because uh, that is something that we wouldn't like. Okay, like keep on repeating yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do, we're going to create here. Uh, what we're going to create here, we're going to create this we're going to create this form field at least because this form field we are going to use it so many times but if we can be able to do it one time then it can help us a lot all right so let's go ahead and do that okay let's go ahead and do that so what i'm going to do i'm going to first create a function so i'm just going to come here on top here and create a new file and call it uh, functions.php so this functions.php so i'm going to put everything almost that we're going to be using Okay, so it's going to be just, it's going to be a PHP file. So uh, it's going to be a PHP file. So I'm going to first check if session is not started. So I believe at this moment, you know what's meant by session. Okay, so I'll go ahead. I think Copilot just needs me to restart, um, to restart what? To restart, uh, uh, the IDE so it can do for me what I want so I can go ahead and check if so I don't know even how to check let me just come here to chat GPT and say PHP check if session is not started and start it I want to suffer so ChatGPT will do that for me. So that is how session is checked. That is not started and then they start it for me. All right, so I'll just come here on top and check if session is not started and they start it for me. So that will make sure that the session is always started. All right, so what do you want to do right now? We want to do this field. We want to do this field. So I'm going to call it... Um, um, text input okay we're going to call it text input then we're going to be returning what we want okay so let me go ahead and create here a function function and call it text input so this function will be checking you'll we'll be taking just some somewhat some 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 parameters for example it can be an array okay or can say maybe param and then it will be returning what it will be returning what we want to present here so um, um we can just simply come here and uh, just return okay and return maybe some data something like that okay so i want to call this function when i want to display an input so let's go to our register.php and search for this email or password here. Okay, email or password. So I'll come and search email or password. Okay, so I want at least this whole field. Eh? Is it that simple? All right, I want this field, at least this field to be, to be returned. Okay, so how do I return it? Remember, we've already included um, so on top of every file, we make sure that we include the PHP functions file. So, how do you include PHP functions file? Just simply say include and the include a eh, require once, require once, okay, and then we pass functions.php so that will make sure that 
everything in this file is added in this and you know in this file we're beginning with starting a what a session so it means that i can be able not to access this what this way method so if i come here to to researching if i come here and i call just say php php and i call this method i'll be able to get it okay because i've just included it whether this method is taking some array so let me just pass nothing okay so i'll go ahead and refresh so you see uh where is it let me refresh are we in register okay so i have to echo what it has returned so i can just simply say echo and then i call this method so refresh so you see that it is returning here the word some data it is not echoing but it is returning some data all right so in the next lecture we shall start from there i'm going to start another lecture of advanced web programming so i'm going to post this video and uh, share with you the template so you can also set up so in the next lecture we shall start from there and work with the registration logic connecting to database and do up to the end of the what of the project so let's meet in the next lecture and goodbye i hope there is no much questions unless otherwise is there a question yes there's one question yes please faster because i'm going to another, another lecture yes please yes i i was struggling with my project but then i have errors i don't know how to solve them can you whatsapp me those so errors I, okay yeah whatsapp me i'm then going to have to discuss something else anyway Okay, we can discuss in WhatsApp because right now I'm going to another lecture. So I'd like to keep time. Right, so we can discuss in WhatsApp, I can be able to answer it. Alright. I'm back now. I'm back. I'm I'm going nowhere. Duncan, have you been following? Yes, I've been following, sir. So how are things? Are they relating? Yeah. Okay. But I think I need to rewatch the video to okay. understand better. Okay, I'm going so to post we'll, we'll get a recording. Yes, I'm going to post the recordings every time. Anytime you want them, you'll find them on my channel. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right, guys. If you'll manage to join the advanced programming, ah, it is there. I'm going to teach it right now. See you guys.